Hello and welcome to one of the most requested videos I get is a updated workspace tour. If you saw my 2017 workspace tour, you know that my workspace has changed quite a bit in the past year. In 2017, my workspace was accommodating for someone who did art for a hobby. And now that I work from home and make YouTube videos for a living, my workspace has changed quite a bit to accommodate that. I need so much more storage and the way I set up my lighting and camera has changed a lot. So let's just get into showing off all the crap that I am now hoarding. Starting above the shelf I call my hat shrine, I have my 1000 ant drawing. I also have a commission and some other things I'm proud of like my silver play button, thank you guys so much. If you don't know what the hat shrine is, it's just what I call a shelf I have a bunch of stuff made for my character, hatch. This includes things I've commissioned, things I've made myself, and of course, awesome fan art from you guys. I also store a few things on here in these brown little boxes, mostly sewing supplies and just things like works in progress of my felt ornaments. For some reason, I started storing my sewing supplies in those little boxes and kept doing so. Of course, this is not all of the fan art I have received in my PO box. I just don't have room for it at the moment. One day I will have my own room for an office, but for now I am in the corner of my living room and if you remember my 2017 tour, I am on the opposite corner now. The reason why is because there is better lighting from this corner. So let's just get into some of the storage. The first thing I have here is all of my felt. It's quite a collection of felt. I like to make sure I always have every color in case I need it when I make ornaments. If you want to know where I get my felt, I don't really know in Canada, but in America, Hobby Lobby has the best felt selection. Moving on, I have a small collection of comics and books. I like to support artists online, so I think most of these are from Kickstarters. In another storage cube, I have the most random assortment of other craft materials. It looks like a mess, but to me, I guess it's kind of organized. Most of this stuff has to do with making my felt cacti. The last storage cube is where I store all of my art. This collection has grown so much since I started a YouTube channel, I have never drawn this much in my life. And it makes me so happy to see each year it becomes bigger and bigger. The way I store my art is in these expandable file folders. You can find these at, I guess, your local office supply store. I found these at Office Depot? Staples, I think it was? I'm sure most office supply stores have these. I just put them in my storage cube, labeled them for each year, or in this case, drawing prompts or ants, and just put my art in there. It's not the most perfect way to store my art, but at the moment, this is the best I have found, and I'm always looking for better ways to store my art. Feel free to share the way you store your art down below because, like I said, always on the lookout. So that is that for the hat shrine and shelf area, so let's move on to my main desk. The first thing here is my scanner where I scan my art and also Sock Casey is hanging out. I just like to keep a few little items and stuff that are personal to me. So we have some fish from Doodle Date and a few things that I've made. Next to that is some important adult documents. Stuff I need to attend to but I keep putting it off. That's my sort of to-do file folder. I also store my latest art here so that I can organize it later on and also all of my receipts that I have yet to organize. Next to that is where I store my most used art supplies where I can just kind of grab them and they are at easy reach. We have my Sakura Micron pins, a variety of other pins, gel pins, pencils, erasers, my paint brushes, paper that I pre-cut so that I'm always ready to go, my tablet pin, scissors, rulers, stuff like that. This is also where I keep my planner. It always has a to-do list and I'm always marking things off of it and checking it. It keeps me on schedule. And above my desk, I have the favorite thing about my workspace, which is my art hanging on the wall. I know some people might think that's self-centered, but it really does keep me motivated when I can look up and see stuff that I'm actually really proud of. A lot of people are really curious as to how I hang up my art. It's really simple. You put two pins in the wall, tie some twine between them, put a bow on it, and hang your art up with a tiny clothespin. It's easy, and I think it's a really cute and simple way to exchange art when you get sick of it and not have to worry about tape and stuff like that. The top three rows are my art, and the bottom row are fan art you guys have sent me in my P.O. box. I love, love, love displaying you guys' art. Below that, in this little display area, we have Sock Casey's backdrop for her YouTube channel. If you didn't know, my sock puppet has a YouTube channel where she makes videos about who the heck knows what. This is where I've decorated it for her background. 
In the bottom drawer of my desk, I mostly have a bunch of really boring things like packing supplies, envelopes, address stickers, boards for mailing original art, a few tripods and mounts for my webcams, and a lot of bubble wrap. In the smaller drawer above that is where the dreaded hoarding begins. There is just so many art supplies and little trinkets and things that I might use and probably use once a year. Washi tape is something I do use for my packing. I've got a lot of spare pencils and erasers, the date stamp for my art, various box cutters, keys, pins that are dying that I can't use but I can use them for writing little notes, my Muji supplies. Now these I'm actually kind of proud of. These are these swatch papers that I use when I do my watercoloring but instead of throwing them away or recycling them, I reuse them as notes in my orders for people so I think that's kind of cool. Other than that, there is just a miscellaneous assortment of things, webcams, cords, my eraser dust sweeper, and this is also where I store my larger art and my screen tone. That is it for my drawers. Moving on to the little corner under my desk. More stuff! In the darkest and deepest corner of my desk, I keep my Huion tablet, which I use for editing sometimes, and of course digital art. You can't really see it, but I also have a cutting thing for my paper. It makes cutting my watercolor paper down to size so much faster. It was super worth the investment. I also keep my sketchbook and 500 drawing prompt sketchbook at the ready next to my desk, as well as a laptop. Underneath all of that, at the most easy of access areas, is where I keep my most used watercolor and other supplies. Right next to where I sit. Painter's tape, watercolor, gouache, pencils, palettes, scrap paper, you name it, it is here. I also keep a lot of my other supplies, like a variety of soccer on pens, all the Sharpies from the Sharpie Art Challenge, and of course this huge hoarding bag of scroller box supplies, which I need to do a giveaway for because I have not touched them since I opened any of the boxes. That's the big ol' art box. Next to my art supplies box, I have a lot of these magazine holders. These are perfect for things like my P.O. box storage and other art supplies that I want easy access to. The main reason why I bought these was for P.O. box storage, organizing them into supplies you guys have given me, letters and art, but I just have so many art supplies that I've been using them for that as well. It tucks away so nicely in my desk, it makes me so happy. And look how cute and colorful they are! For the most part, that is that for storage. After that, we have my computer where I sit at all day and edit and do stuff. My microphone, which is a blue Yeti. And the rest of my desk, which I use to do art and spread stuff out on and draw. So let's talk about some of the stuff I use, like my tripod and my phone holder. This is what I use to get all of the different angles when recording that isn't a top-down view. I just put my phone in it, which is an iPhone 7, I think. And as far as the little holder goes, I really don't know what it is. I've had it for over a year at this point. Be sure to check the description for links to all of this stuff. I will try to put everything I can if I can find it. As far as my top-down view goes, a lot of people ask me what tripod I use. It is the brand Vanguard and the type is Ultra Pro 263AT. Again, I will try to link everything in this video in the description, so please check before you ask. Oh yeah, and the camera I use is a Canon T7i, and the reason why it's not the tripod is because I'm using it to record. <laughs> Behind my desk, I do have a little bit more hoarding. We have watercolor paper that I have bought in advance, and also some boards that I keep so that I can cut up for orders. Along with my schnoodle and some big pieces of felt, I also have this little storage thing that I keep a lot of extra things like cacti and sock casey props in clothes. Just miscellaneous things that aren't art related, but I need to keep somewhere. And that is that for my workspace tour. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about my setup. Hopefully you didn't learn too much about me. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to put you guys up on the tripod and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. And now a huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons, including Michael Young, Zach Abstract, Megan, Chris Side, Davey Tomato, Cool Guy Josh, Hey Lucy, Mackenzie, Maureen A, Pi, Drizzle, Cindy J, TJ Dutch, Star, Lex CS, Meredith H, Hattie Laird, Stuff by Dell, Zoe Stardust, One-Eyed Doe, and Antimeral Scott. 
If you want a shout out at the end of my videos, sketches, coloring pages, early access, and more, check out my Patreon by clicking the link in the description. Thank you all so much for the support. Bye.